Hey there guys, it's Johnny with the Flick Pig channel. I don't, I, I, we're going to try something new today. It's a little bit wacky, it's a little bit crazy, and I actually have an audience today, an audience of one, and uh, I'll just, rather than talk about it, I'll just show you. Howdy folks, Crazy Jason here. Now, now, I noticed... <laughs> It's time to jump into the DVD part of the update, and uh, these are all the DVDs I gotten over the last month. And uh, let's just let's just get into it. This first movie, it's filthy, it's dirty. You know, I'm scared to touch it with my whole hand. It's uh, it's eight millimeters. Suppose the last guy that owned that movie jacked off on it. It's got a gimp in it with a leather mask on. His nickname's Machine, and if I went into the porn industry, that's exactly how I'd go in with a leather gimp mask, and my name would be Machine. Except uh, I wouldn't know how to please anyone, and uh, I'd probably uh, my pop shot would come too early, and I'd be fired after the first the first scene. Alrighty, so let's tone it down a little bit. We're gonna take it from the dark, filthy grittiness of the the DVD collection to the lighthearted, the fun, the adventurous. Steven Spielberg's uh, one of his best movies ever made, and it's E.T. I can't believe you transitioned to that, man. You're just you're disgusting, man. You know that's that's sick to go from eight mil snuff films to E.T. What's disgusting is you look at this crusty old hand touching that little boy's hand. It's got a little glowing speckle right there. Oh, don't go there, man. <laughs> uh, but anyway, E.T., it's it's a classic Spielberg, you know, and uh, it's got the adventure, it's got the spirit, it's got a little boy on a BMX bicycle going through the moon with an alien in a, in a uh, what the fuck, a crate? A milk crate? Is that what they call it? A milk crate? Yeah. Yeah, like a basket or something with some towels wrapped around it. E.T. Go. Trade? You want to do a trade? Yeah, what do you got? What are you going to give me for the pink blanket, man? I'll send you the criterion of uh, the thin red line for that pink blanket. Is that is that after I add my touch, or is that before? Or yeah, I mean, with splooge. I mean, that's, you know... All right. Next up, it's, it's one of my childhood favorite movies. That's a lie. That's actually not true. I remember hating this when I was eight years old, but that's okay because I wanted a good laugh. I bought it for $2.00. And that's, that's actually a lie. I'm trying to compensate for something I don't have. It's actually $3. And it's Three Ninjas Kickback. And it's got, you know, it's got it's got Rocky, it's got Tum Tum, and it's got Colt. And not even, that's shit. actually... Shit. That's just shit, man. That, you know, it wasn't even in that order, actually. It actually goes Tum Tum, Colt, and then Rocky. Rocky's the green Nobody one. Nobody cares because it's shit. That's Nobody true. Nobody gives a fucking shit about your shitty DVD. <laughs> It's a good movie, man. You got you got the little asshole Tom Tom. That's the kid I wanted to stomp his face until it looked like goulash. I always wanted to be the blue ninja Colt, and in this movie, cares about the kids, man, because the fucking movie shit. Next up, Richie Rich. Uh, <laughs> it's it's got Macaulay Culkin when he was still relevant in life. I'm sorry, I apologize for everything I just said. The last movie was gold. It was an Academy Award win <laughs> winner compared to what you just held up. I, I can't believe the man has no shame. Richie Rich, really? Man, you, you just don't respect the 90s because you weren't a kid in the 90s. You know, what, you, know what, you know what's wrong? How can you make fun of me for having Kit Kittredge, an American girl? But, but you can hold up Richie Rich. Anyway, guys, it's Richie Rich. And, you know, I something about this movie, I... I I, I can't even make up anything about why I like the movie. Anyway, because there's nothing. There's nothing likable about he, it. He, he had a butler named uh, Cadbury who had sensitive teeth. He goes to jail and uh, he escapes by putting the toothpaste on the prison bars. You, on an interesting side note, this is the truth. This is honestly the truth. This little redhead girl right here, when they did the uh, roller coaster scene, when she had to ride on the roller coaster, she was actually scared to ride on the roller coaster. So they had to get a stand-in for that. And the girl who did the stand-in back in like 93 when the movie was filmed was actually my next door neighbor's girlfriend when he, when he lived in Tennessee for two years. Is, that's kind of interesting, right? Okay, we're just going to move on. Is that the, the last uh, movie that Culkin did as a as a child? Is that the last? Uh, no, he actually did that uh, shitty movie with uh, the guy who was in the movie uh, or the show uh, Cheers. Name, name is name. 
Ted. Ted something. Ted Danson. Ted, yeah. yeah, he was in that movie where he was a con artist, and he had a young Macaulay as a son. Who, and that's when Macaulay had the kind of the mullet going on, and he wore always he always wore like a lion's jacket with like leather sleeves. No, you should know better. Never, never star in a, never co-star in a Ted Danson movie in the nineties. Well, he, Ted Danson, man, his, you know, that was when his hair wasn't gray. He had a little bit of like, he, he was going off the the high hills of the movie. His the show. hair was never gray. He never had hair. That's, Ted that's Danson, a, that's he, fucking, it's a, it's a piece, man. It's a wig. Is it? Yeah. Man, holy shit, man! I'm gonna look that up, man. Uh, Macaulay Culkin films, the early nineties. Did you ever watch The Good Son? I did watch the good. I like The Good Son, man. That's a good movie. That is good cheese. Yeah, that honestly, man, I've had like when he makes that nail gun that shoots out at cats. That and that treehouse he had was pretty cool, man. Elijah Woods was kind of a pussy though. I mean, what kind of kid doesn't want to kill like a, a like a, a, a cat? You know, like an alley cat. Like seriously, you're not gonna shoot him with the, the nail gun. Oh, when he threw the dummies off the highway on yeah. the, on the, the semi, man. I who hasn't tried something like that? Uh, you know, um, you're the kid the mom would have let go of at the end. I <laughs> uh, see. I would have been good. At, I would have been better at it than Macaulay was, man. I wouldn't have been so obvious about it, like, you know, like the little hints he gave to his mom about killing his brother in the bathtub four years earlier. I wouldn't have been so like blunt would, about it. Yeah, you would have been sneakier. You're yeah. a pretty sneaky bastard. On a lighter note, it's look who's talking, and uh, dude, I can't even. This it's, is. Yeah, it's just because of what it, we go from shit to shittier to shittiest. Well, Cisco and Ebert gave it two thumbs up, man, and that's two thumbs all together. Really? I had no idea, man. I'm going to do my impression of, of fucking Roger Ebert real quick. You guys ready? Just hang on one second. <laughs> uh, I'm an ass. I'm sorry. Can you cut out my laughing? Or <laughs> No, the laugh that I needed someone to laugh at it. I got to keep that in, man. So anyway, it's Look Who's Talking, starring Christy Allen. This movie, you know, you got to give this movie credit. It actually showed when sperm are swimming through a woman's uterus, and then they bite into the egg. It takes them a few seconds to nibble through the hard crust, but then they get in, they wiggle themselves in, and then nine oh, months... The hard crust? Then nine months later, you got a little baby. And the little baby, you know, his inner thoughts are actually voiced by uh, Bruce Willis, and that, that just makes for a great movie. And this had John Travolta, you know. Yeah, yeah, because that... How do you not like Luke is talking? Do you not have a, like a spirit, man? Like that's that's a yeah, great... yeah. The life force has out, gone out of me because I don't like Luke who's talking or Richie Rich. Yeah, well, you need to you need to get soulless some... because I don't like this. You, you can't you can't buy class, man. That's the problem. Right? Yeah, I've got poor taste. Okay, next up, speaking of uh, bad taste, and uh, actually, I like it. I'm gonna admit it right here. Clueless. This had young, hot, teeny boppers going around on their cell phones. They were rich, naive, ditzy girls from, you know, Hollywood. And uh, this was when Alicia Silverstone was still, she was slightly relevant. And now I don't know what happened to her. She's still alive. Like, of course she was in Batman and Robin, which killed everyone's career. Alicia Silverstone actually died, but no one reported it. They just, they just threw her ass in the river. Anyway, they threw her ass in the river. A clueless, good movie. I, I, I think I paid two dollars. I paid three. I know I paid three, but I tell myself I paid two. It makes me feel a little bit better. But eh, it's an okay mid '90s movie that makes fun of itself. It's one of my favorite. It's 101 Dalmatians, and Cruella Deville is an old haggis, uh, just tar infested dirty lady and you know the weird thing about it is i'm sexually attracted to her i know that's not healthy but i she just seems like a rich old bitch she has fur coats nice things and she would make me her little boy toy and that's okay because you know i could i could oh, hang man you're, you're so disgusting i <laughs> the, the mom at the end of the good son totally would have dropped she would have pushed you off the cliff you know but the whole thing she about it kicked you all the way down man listen I, listen you're, you're listen. filthy you're scum you're shit you're 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 a fucking pube on a toilet seat on a, a truck stop toilet seat, man. But the thing is, man, would you not date? Would you look the other way if some older lady took you in, supported you? But the only bad thing about her is she likes to kill puppies. That you just want a sugar mama. I get that. that. That's the truth, man. Plus, she had the stylish hair. One part was black, one part was white. But you already have a sugar mama. Anyway, anyway, 101 Dalmatians. This looks great. Up converted on my TV. I love the movie. It's still a classic in my in my eyes. And uh, for eight bucks, I couldn't go wrong with this one. So anyway, guys, uh, you got some screen cleaner for your, uh, your, your, your plasma. You want to talk about that? <laughs> uh, Cause you wouldn't listen to me and you put Windex on it and got it all smudgy and you had to go back and actually buy the screen cleaner that I told you to get the first time around. Yeah. Yeah. 
It was worse than Grey Whiskers. You need it was full on Santa Claus. It was, man. It was like it was like that dirty truck stop Santa Claus too, man. The one that you, you know, the one that wants kids to sit on his lap, but he still doesn't want to know what you want for Christmas. And you, and you know Santa's fucking carpet matches his drapes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, this was John with the Flick Pick Channel. I got to go. It's hot, sweaty. I want to go eat a bologna sandwich. Until then, uh, I don't... Why did I even... That didn't even make any sense where I was going. The sentence it was like a, a fragment and sentence that didn't match up with anything else I was talking about. Anyway, I'm John with the Flick Pick Channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>now listen man okay listen there's one thing i noticed about you today and i'm, I'm slightly jealous because i can't that man beard man that you kind of trimmed it down now you look you look like al borland a little bit right now from home improvement you can't pull it off can you you can, you can just do like the johnny depp kind of yeah scraggly. The johnny yeah. depp with a few like uh really ratty whiskers growing out of my cheeks can you even do that, or is it more like the 16-year-old dude in high school that had the peach fuzz mustache? It's it's Johnny Depp if I give it a few days. Maybe maybe actually a few weeks.